Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Preeti Sharma and I'm your pathology educator on this platform of Fun Academy. Well, I'm starting with a new series and that is IOTD Image of the Day and this is just to give you that extra edge in your preparation for the upcoming NEET PG, INI, CET and FMG exam. So well, a minute or two for this image of the day shouldn't cost you much but will certainly help you learn something very important probably about a slide or an instrument or a tumor or something important for the exam. Before I begin, I hope you are all aware of the grand test series that is going on on the Unacademy platform and that is from uh, as you can see the dates in front of you and uh, it's at every Saturday 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. That is for everyone to attempt and uh, it will be followed by written solutions. So I think something that is going to help you analyze how well are you scoring in your grand tests. All of us know GTs are a must for any exam. Apart from that, uh, we have a special NEET PG one month package for all the students who are targeting 11 September, uh, the D-Day. And yes, that, uh, that batch is going to include MCQs, previous year questions, COVID tests, so on and so forth. Also, guys, there is a new Q bank which has all updated questions 25k plus, which has now been uh, added, and that is again to give you an extra edge in your APG preparation. So, I hope you all make use of this. All of you know that in an academy, you get access to live and recorded classes from one of the best educators in the country, and you have access to question banks, you have different packages which are available be it only on an academy or be it along with Prep Ladder as an iconic subscription. So, yes, these are the different packages, and you can select as per your preparation and duration. Coming back to where we started from and that is image of the day and let me give you a quick glimpse of what the image of the day is and that is this. So I hope with the help of this gross image you already know I'm dealing with a CNS tumor and I've got you a particular slide of the histopath alongside that and I hope if I give you a proper history of a CNS tumor you guys have been able to make a diagnosis of glioblastoma. So first and foremost what kind of a tumor do I see on the gross examination? I see a lesion over here and I very well see that that is crossing the midline as well and that is the very classical shape that we describe of this tumor so it is also known as the butterfly glioma because it has a propensity of crossing the midline. Now when I take so glioblastoma, butterfly glioma, when I take histopath slides and I see it under the microscope, I can take a separate slide and I can show you what are the microscopic features. Well over here you see that there is this area which is looking entirely pink and is a little baby just like a snake right. It's baby like a snake so what kind of necrosis do you call it? You use the word serpentine. I hope you have understood why serpentine because you see this waviness. And I call it necrosis because I also know that necrosis is a kind of a cell death. So if I look very carefully inside this pinkish area, I only see pink material. I don't see any nuclei. I don't see any feature of a living cell. It's a cell death. So number one feature, serpentine necrosis. When I highlight the cells which are around the serpentine necrosis, these are all the tumor cells. So what do I call this second feature? This is known as pseudo palisading of the tumor cells. Please note these terms because in the question uh, this is exactly how this is going to be put up to all of you. So remember it is pseudo palisading of the tumor cells. Now uh, many of you are asked this question that which cells are there. So remember these are the tumor cells but now comes the third part and what is the third part? So I think everyone's been able to guess what structure am I talking about? That's a blood vessel because I can see red blood cells inside it. So if I can draw it in a similar manner, I can see red blood cells inside it. I'm dealing with a blood vessel. So what's the lining of a blood vessel? The lining of a blood vessel is the endothelial cells. But what do I see over here? I see that those endothelial cells have suddenly become more in number. Can I see endothelial proliferation? And this endothelial proliferation is referred to as a glomeruloid body. So please remember what are the three features that I have for a glioblastoma. Number one, we have serpentine necrosis. Number two, we have pseudo palisading of the tumor cells. And number three, we have glomeruloid bodies. And if asked what are glomeruloid bodies, they are nothing but endothelial cell proliferation. So if I have to put all in all everything together in a summary slide, I think I've got most of my points. Number one, it's known as a butterfly tumor. Number two, it shows me serpentine necrosis. Now, 
Number three, it shows pseudo palisading of the tumor cells. And number four, it shows the glomeruloid body. Well, that's the short recap of glioblastoma, which brings you to the end of image of the day. Tomorrow, similarly, we'll have this on a daily basis at 10 o'clock. I'll be posting a two to three minute video of image of the day. And also, gradually, I'll start including mnemonic of the day. So, if you have any suggestions, anything that you want me to add on to this series, please do write to me either on Telegram or on in the chat box in the comments below and we'll definitely include that incorporate it in the upcoming sessions all the very best for your preparation blessings are always with you hoping to see some amazing results very soon when the neat pg exam is conducted all the very best guys.